Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Comical Mischief, Mr. 5150, YMDLU.com. Got on my subscriber shades, and this morning I watched the Zimmerman interview, man, and, and just right off the bat, man, he, he looks like he is afraid that if he says the wrong thing, there's going to come back to bite him in his ass. So, you know, so uh, my thoughts about the whole situation has not changed. Um, I still feel like the Zimmerman was wrong. It doesn't have anything to do with race. So by all means, people, stop bringing it to race. It's a human thing. It's a right and a wrong thing. It doesn't have nothing to do with Trayvon Martin being black, saying I'm a no-limit nigga, throwing up gang signs and smoking weed. So fucking what? He was a child. Okay, he wasn't a good child. All right. But he was murdered. How in the hell, okay, now, I have weapons, I have multiple weapons, I am legal, licensed, all that good stuff, you know, I am a uh, 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 military veteran, so I know my way around weapons, I know the rules of engagement for military and uh, 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 civilians. Um, first of all, Zimmerman was wrong by engaging Trayvon Martin. Now, you can say what you want to say. He was wrong. He's thugging and all this. Whatever. Okay? The young man didn't have a weapon. Now, people were saying, well, Trayvon Martin was telling him he was going to kill him and all this. Guess what? All of that could have been avoided if Zimmerman would have just done this. Recognize the suspect. Called the police, said the suspect is heading east, north, wearing blue jeans and a white t-shirt or, or a hoodie or whatever, and left it at that. As long as Trayvon Martin did not approach Zimmerman or come on Zimmerman's property or, or was attempting to break in anyone's personal property, i.e. home, garage, or vehicle. Okay? Now, whether Zimmerman is a racist and all that, right now, that does not matter. The matter at hand is Zimmerman murdered this young man. Now, I have been in situations where my, where my neighbor called me and said, look, there's someone in your yard. Now, in Georgia, we also have a stand-your-ground law, but I, I don't want to use that just to shoot somebody because believe me if i shoot somebody with what the fuck that i told it's not gonna be no getting up from it okay so uh as a matter of fact this happened about a week and a half ago a person was in my yard he w he was heavily intoxicated called me all the niggers and he was gonna do this to me and he was gonna fuck me up he was gonna do this to me but what happened was after i got the call from my neighbor i went outside and and I had a blue LED light on him. So I shined him. I was like, hey, man, are you lost? You need some help? Some of that? And he instantly just went, nigga, I'll do this to you. Nigga, I'll kill you. Now. And I was like, oh, man. Now, by this time, he had went into the street. And I was still standing on, on my property, you know, keeping the law in mind. Because if I have to shoot this person, I want to be right. Now, when he was in the street, he was no longer a threat to me. I had no fear because I had had my flashlight and I also had my sidearm. So I just said, "Man, just just keep it moving." See, see, because I could tell that he was tipsy. That he was drunk. He was kind of staggering and stuff. So the guy turns and says, "I oughta," and he came towards me now by that time the light came came up blind blinded him a little bit and the weapon came up and i was like sir i don't know you but do not approach me because you will get shot well this went on he just stood out there he talked all kind of junk talked all kind of noise to make a long story short he he was hoping that the cops came and my and my neighbor called the cops three cops came i knew all three of them and I explained, look, the the uh, guy was on my property, he started threatening me, uh, uh, calling me nigga this and nigga that, yada, 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 and while I was telling the cops what was happening, this idiot was like, 
He got a flashlight and a big ass gun. He got a flashlight and a big ass gun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, um, I think that in some cases that the stand your ground law gets abused. And I think that the case of Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman was just another case where Zimmerman abused that 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 law. But I truly hope that they see right through the bullshit that he is going to attempt to feed the jury. I think the Zimmerman should go to jail. Okay, whether Trayvon Martin was stealing people's shit or, or not, but, but we now know that he wasn't. He was at his father's home. Now, um, he was in the right place, all right, walking home. Uh, Zimmerman approached this young man. He pursued him, and, and this boggles my mind that people just don't understand this. You cannot just pursue people unless you are the police. And then in a lot of cases, the police are wrong for just pursuing a person without getting any calls or having any reasonable suspicion about the uh, person. But Zimmerman is no cop. He's 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 no police officer. He's also a self-appointed neighborhood watchman. Self-appointed means that he he was not even elected by the neighborhood. So what does that tell you? He 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 wants to be something that he's not. OK. And there and again, Zimmerman was wrong. He pursued this young man. And for what? Because he's walking around and looking at stuff? Okay, he did not break the law. Whenever I go to the mall, whenever I park close to a car, I instinctively, I just look in it. It's not because I want to break in the motherfucker because I'm just looking in it. Well, does that make me wrong? Does that give a person that sees me doing that the right to follow me and then shoot me and kill me? No, because I have not broken the law. You know, I look at armored cars whenever I see armored cars. Does that mean I want to steal the money? Hell no. Nah. I'm just looking. You know, so of course, people are going to get mad and stuff. And they, and they always take it back to race. But I'm going to tell you something. The simplest way to solve this case is just to look at it from a right and wrong point of view. Forget race. They could have both been white men and I would still be saying the same thing. Now, the sad thing is, is that I have a feeling that with all of the media hype and all of this and all of that, that Trayvon Martin was a thug and he was a goon and he was all this and he was that, which is bullshit. So, what you're saying is, if a person smokes weed, if a person gets put out of school, if a person throws up gang signs, they have the right to be shot in the street like a dog. That is, that is what you're saying. Because the only argument that people came up with was, well, Trayvon Martin was smoking weed and he was seen on Twitter throwing up gang signs and he got put out of school several times. <laughs> That is no argument. That is not equivalent to what happened to this young man. It, 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 I mean, it's not even in the same realm. It's bullshit. So you can be mad, but truth reigns over all. I mean, it sounds good if you say, well, Zimmerman shot him because he was a little goon. He was a little thug. Even if he was a goon, a thug, or a gang member, he was not displaying it that night. So, y'all take that, put that in your pipe, and smoke it. Um, you know, I I just try to give my most unbiased opinion without looking at race, but just looking at the right and the wrong factor. So, uh, I hope y'all enjoy what I had to say. Um, if you're mad, if you feel a certain kind of way, hey, that's on you. Anyway, this is Comcast, Mr. 5150. Yum, day low. Oh.